Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So what's up? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I am super excited because we're bringing back another, you know, curly hair video. This is finally doing another video revolving her hair, right? First of all, I apologize if the lighting changes. There's hella clouds that keep, you know, coming in and out, covering the sun and whatnot. So just don't mind that. But today's video is going to be another curly hair video. And in today's video, I'm going to be attempting to create a curly hair routine out of Dollar Tree hair products. So my goal is to go to Dollar tree pick up all the regular products that I would use on a wash day just from obviously different brands because I will be getting them from the dollar store and my goal is to have my hair turn out good like from these products so I'm not gonna downplay it I'm not gonna doubt it yet because never looked through the hair care section I've never tried any products from the dollar store in my curly hair so I mean yes to some people that may be like girl your hair finna fall out. We don't know that yet. Let's not doubt it. Let's not knock it because you never know. But to be completely honest, I'm a little scared. Okay, I'm a little scared because it's not like my typical products that I would use in my curly hair. You know, my face literally hurts from smiling. Um, but that's basically the goal for today's video. I've been wanting to do this video for so long. So I'm very excited to finally be getting around to it. And by finally getting around to it, I just mean actually doing it. It's been written down in my notebook full of video ideas forever. And this is my first time like actually, you know, doing it. Sis has been a little scared, but we're not holding back. That is what we're doing in today's video. I'm super excited. So right now it's around 11 o'clock in the morning. You know, sis woke up. She ate breakfast, even though I'm already hungry again. Showered, got ready for the day. Slicked my hair back because I knew I was going to wash it. Not the FaceTime ending. Um, my reflexes when I heard that sound. Anyway, so basically today, I'm having one of my friends come over. Her name is Sienna, and she is... 10 out of 10, fantastic. She is going to be coming to Dollar Tree with me. We're gonna be picking out these products together. We're just gonna see like what we think is gonna work well in my hair. And then I'm gonna come back to the house, try these products in my hair, just like my regular curly hair routine. So you know the goal is to get a shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, leave-in, styling products, you know, styling cream, oil, the whole nine. That's the goal for today. And sis is very excited, you know? I'm all about trying new things, all about a little challenge. So that's what today's video is all about. But for now, I'm just chilling, you know? Not the fit. Just chilling. So I'm gonna just wait for my friend to get here, you know, just chill and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright. So hey guys. We did not just catch that. <laughs> <laughs> little update. So right now it's 1 13. The last time I talked to you guys it was around like eleven o'clock, right? So I'm here with my friend. This is Sienna. Hello. We just finished eating breakfast at First Watch, which is a bomb ass breakfast spot. We just had to make sure that we ate before we did anything. So now that we're done eating, we're about to go head to a Dollar Tree. I'm going to find a Dollar Tree nearby and we're just gonna go to the first one that we see. It doesn't really matter. And our goal is to just basically find just the products that I would regularly use in my hair, but from the dollar store. So that's what we're going to do. We're nine minutes away from the closest Dollar Tree. So we're just gonna go ahead that way and see what we can find. All right guys, so we just got into Dollar Tree. I'm gonna try to keep my voice down because when I tell you it sounds like it's like a library in here. It's so quiet, but we're here at a Dollar Tree and we're about to, or we're just looking for like the hair care section now so we can get these products to try my hair. First of all, I'm out of breath. This is like body care. Maybe it's in that section because then this is food. All right guys, so we just successfully found the hair care section in Dollar Tree. And when I tell you, this is just a, a little bit nervous. Um, so I'm looking at the selection here. You know, I'm seeing shampoo, I'm seeing conditioner. I see detangling milk. We have some, I don't know if I see- got styling gel right there. Oh, they got some styling gel. They got um, some hair lotion, some moisturizer hair lotion. And then they have, yeah, just hair dress. They got some curl stretch that's open here. We got some argan oil hair and scalp conditioner. So, you know, we got some options that we could choose from. So we're just basically going to pick from the selection, see what we think is going to work the best for my hair. And we're just gonna go from there. So I know I'm definitely gonna wanna use a shampoo and conditioner, even though I already have shampoo and conditioner. I wanna get some from Dollar Tree. Let me show you like the selection they have as far as shampoo and conditioner. So I'm seeing a lot of like this brand right here. You know, they got some for dry scalp, voluminizer. We got some detangle and shine conditioner. I feel like I'll probably go with something in this realm for shampoo and conditioner. Looks the most promising for me that I'm seeing here. We also got, okay, some salon selected volume and body but I really don't need like added volume in my hair we have damage repair that's probably good I see a conditioner but I'm not seeing a shampoo from this line this is a shampoo and a conditioner oh hell no I don't know girl okay this right here 
This is Salon Selective shampoo. It says it purifies and it adds gloss. And they have a conditioner from this line as well. That looks like it could be pretty good. This looks like it could do something. Probably could. If I'm gonna have conditioner, it's gonna be thick. These smell good and I like the idea of, well it says purifies for glossy hair. I've never heard that concept before, especially for conditioner. But these are drawing me in the most. So I think I'm going to get this Salon Selective Marula Magic shampoo and conditioner. Um, just if I go, oh, there's a, uh, I hate filming in public. Ah. We have our shampoo and conditioner, right? Sienna just found this nourishing hair oil. And you guys know, I was talking about what? Is that the same brand too? So. Yeah, this is the same brand as the shampoo and conditioner. So I think we're going to go with this. This is a nourishing hair oil, coconut and shea. And I think this will be really good to just seal in any other products that we plan on using. I don't know why I'm saying we like we're both washing our hair, but you know, it's okay. So we're going to get that hair oil right there. That looks good. They have a this should be good. They have a Pantene detangling milk. I feel like that would be good because it would be like a leave-in conditioner, but it would also help to tangle my hair. With the amount of hair I have, I'll probably want to get like... Oh, you think one would be okay for one, one use? One will probably... Yeah, I'd probably use pretty much this whole bottle for one use, but that's probably good because I most likely won't be using these again, but you actually never know. So we have our leave-on detangling milk, and then I wanted some sort of like styling product to put in my hair. So let's see what they have. So like this is a hair moisturizer, so that's more of like a leave-in. This is a hair lotion, which is probably more like a leave-in as well, but I want something that's going to like style, like define my curls. This is a deep conditioner. This is, this is the one. Right, I think this is like the only one that's I've seen here. Right, yeah, let's see if it smells good. So I said I wanted like a deep conditioner to put in my hair as well, and I almost forgot about that. Okay, it actually smells good. Oh, wait, look. They got a Freeman hair mask, too. I didn't know Freeman had hair masks. And then they also have, I know Suave is a good brand. They have a deep conditioning mask. I think I may actually go with this Check one. Check out that one. It's yeah. a promising thing. Should I get one? No, I get two. All right, I'm gonna get two of these Suave um, Almond Plus Shea Butter Deep Conditioning Masks for my hair. I think it may actually turn out good. Honestly, yeah, it's not that bad. Right. Okay, so now I'm looking for like a styling product, something that's going to define my curls besides a gel. Like I want more of probably like a cream-based product. So this right here is a hair and scalp conditioner, so that's not it. But I'm really not seeing any products that are made to like define my curls other than just styling gel. I don't see any styling products, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah, all I'm seeing is like this is a protein styling gel. So it's still styling. So maybe this could kind of be like a two-in-one as like a styling and a gel. They got edge control. Okay. I wasn't even thinking about edge gel to lay my edges, but I'm definitely gonna want to do that. I don't know why it's half empty. Is this trifling? But I'm gonna use like gel for my edges. Yeah, I was doing that for What's a long time. <laughs> I think edge gel just has like a stronger hold. But why is it halfway? It smells bomb though. I'm gonna get this. Literally, the only option I'm really seeing for like styling products. This is by the brand Ampro. I think that's how you say it. Protein styling gel. Hey, can you smell this one? Oh! No. It's toxic as hell. That literally smells like Clorox bleach. No, I'm not putting that in my hair. And why does it look like iodine? Uh, so never mind on that styling product because look at it. We opened it. I didn't even think to open it or like see what it looks like. <gasps> why does it look like that? And then it stinks like Clorox wipes. So I don't really want to put that in my hair. I don't want my hair falling out. All right guys, so we just got a Dollar Tree. And when I tell you, we got two bags full of stuff, two bags. And I even got a couple things that they weren't a part of this video and she was only $11. We love to see it. I swear if my hair turns out better than it normally does. That'd be kind of sad, I'm not gonna lie. It may be kind of sad, you know, we've wasted a lot of money, but now we know. Yeah. That, um, all right guys so your girl is back sienna has left my house the last thing we did before she left was finish she just texted me was finish get out i'm pretty sure this movie has been out for multiple years and i have yet to watch it so her and i decided to watch it together and that was the best movie i've seen in a while that shit was crazy but you know i'm back i have all my products with me and i'm about to get up in this shower so we can try out this new routine of mine but i wanted to briefly go over the products that i got so you guys know what i'll be using in the shower because once i'm in the shower i'm just gonna do a voiceover and then at that point you guys would already know what i'm using in my hair so the first thing i got was the salon selectives shampoo and conditioner this is the marula magic line color protect that's good because sis does have color treated hair it's enriched with vitamin e 
smells good so i'm super excited to try these out and see how they work with my hair i'm always hesitant with shampoo just because shampoo you know it's really common for it to strip your hair but regardless i'm hoping this conditioner you know does what it needs to do because i'm not trying to have no dry ass hair so then the next thing that i got the next thing that i'll be using in order are these suave almond plus shea butter deep conditioning masks so i've definitely used hair care products from this brand before a while ago i had a good experience with them i think these deep conditioning masks are actually going to work really well and i got two just to make sure i have enough to fully coat my hair and then the next thing that i'll be using in the shower is the pantene leave-on detangling milk so this says it's infused with argan oil and it preps and strengthens hair for styling it says it's for dry and damaged hair. It's sulfate free, so that's good. Yeah, this is basically what I'm going to use as my leave-in conditioner for my hair. And then it's also going to help detangle it. And then the next thing I got, what am I using next? The next thing is this Softy Styling Gel. This is the argan oil version. This reminded me a lot of Eco Gel. I'm not sure if it's going to have a similar effect. But honestly, Eco Gel ain't even all that. It smells like, I don't know. It's not a comforting scent. Um, it smells a lot like chemicals, but that's okay. Really excited to try this in my hair it's not like a super thick gel so hopefully this doesn't leave my hair crunchy and then the next thing i got is another product from the salon selectives brand and this is their coconut and shea exotic shea butter baby this is their coconut and shea nourishing hair oil so this is what i'm going to use towards the end of my routine to just seal in all the moisture you know seal in any products into my hair so i think this is gonna do us well and then the last thing i got was an edge control not that i'm having edge control at dollar tree this is by the brand softy as well you know i'd be laying my edges so I decided to get this. It says it's enriched with olive oil and aloe. And I like to lay my edges regardless if I'm wearing my hair up or down. I always lay them. It smells pretty good. It has like a very faint like grape scent. And then tell me why it's halfway gone. Like why is it? And that was how all of them were. So I'm not sure what that's about. But I hope this works well. Okay texture but yeah basically all we're gonna do at this point i'm going to go ahead and put on a bathing suit because it's not that type of video and then we're gonna hop in the shower and try out this new curly hair routine sis is excited and i'm nervous so we shall see so i'm now in the bathroom and we're about to start heading into the shower but i wanted to take my hair out of this bun before i got in so you guys could get a you know a cute little before my hair Baby girl. Um, it's been a little too long yeah we'll put it that way it's been a little too long you know um my hair is dry like i've been wearing my hair in a high top a high top ew i've been wearing my hair in like a high bun for the past couple of days and when i tell you it literally looked like a bird's nest it was just so dry so i'm really hoping that these products can bring my curls back to life and if they don't, I'm going to be washing my hair twice in a day. Um, yeah. So my hair is just kind of glued to my head at this point, along with being extra dry. What the? F it's the Lord Farquaad look for me. Yeah, so I'm really hoping that we're able to, you know, fix this while I'm in the shower. Let me go ahead and put a bathing suit on. Okay, and now that I have my bathing suit on, let's go ahead and hop in the shower. All right, guys. So, you know, I got my bathing suit on now, and I have all my products sitting here in the shower waiting to be used. All we got to do now is start washing my it's just a little nervous i think i'm like what's it called stalling all right let's just get in the shower all right guys so the first thing that i'm doing once i get in the shower is just wetting my hair with some warm water getting it nice and drenched so we can prepare to apply this shampoo as you can see i kind of separate my hair in slight sections kind of just minor detangling so my hair isn't literally matted when it's time to apply the shampoo because you guys already know how shampoo can make your hair normally feel so i just like to ease that process by slightly detangling my hair prior to applying the shampoo all right so we're now going in with our salon selectives shampoo Shampoo and I just started applying this to my hair. I always like to focus my shampoo on my scalp just because that's normally where I have the most product. As you can see, I try to communicate through facial expressions while doing voiceovers when I'm not talking, like when I'm actually filming because I want y'all to know how I feel about the products. But obviously I was pretty impressed with the shampoo whenever I first applied it to my hair. So here you can see I'm just vigorously rubbing it through my scalp. When I tell you I'm not gentle with my hair whatsoever, it's absolutely terrible. But then I just thoroughly rinsed out the shampoo from my hair, made sure all of it was out of my hair before I applied any other products. Nothing really stood out about the shampoo that I didn't like until I rinsed it all out and my hair literally felt so dry, but I wasn't stressing it too much because most shampoos do that anyways. 
So the next product I used in my hair was the Salon Selectives conditioner that we picked up and I used a bunch of this product in my hair. It's a much thinner conditioner. It has really good slip. It felt amazing in my hair, but it's not super thick. So I just made sure to apply a lot of conditioner to my hair. Thoroughly coat my hair in this conditioner because since it is a thinner product, I wanted to, you know, get the same results as I would with my normal conditioner. So that's what I made sure to do with this product. So after applying the conditioner to my hair, I just threw my hair up in a super loose bun. And then I also threw on a plastic cap to enhance the effects of our conditioner. So after leaving the plastic cap on my head for maybe five minutes, I took it off and I started to detangle my hair. So I realized whenever it was time to detangle my hair, my fingers was running right through them curls. Like this conditioner actually made it super easy to detangle my hair. So I just went through my hair and you know, a couple sections, just finger detangling. I've always been a fan of finger detangling. I've been doing it for a couple years now and it's just what works for me but as you guys can see this conditioner definitely allowed me to just kind of glide my fingers right through my hair and it definitely made the detangling process really easy so that's great so now that my hair is detangled and it feels super soft i'm just rinsing it out with some water So the next thing I used in my hair was our Swab Deep Conditioner and I just opened a packet, slightly separated my hair into two different sections. When I tell you this packet of deep conditioner came with so much more than I expected, I wasn't expecting one packet to fully coat my hair, but it most definitely did. So I just started applying our deep conditioner to my hair, running it through my curls, just making sure that all of my hair is thoroughly coated in the product. Once again, this deep conditioner also provided a lot of slip to my hair. And at this point, my hair was already detangled because that's something I did when I had the regular conditioner in my hair. So at this point, I'm just making sure the curls are coated in the product and then you know I just tied up my hair in a loose bun once again and threw a plastic cap on my head so after about five minutes I take the plastic cap off of my head once again take out the hair tie and look how much product is in my hair but once I take off the plastic cap I'm just going to run my fingers through my hair once again make sure all of the knots are out before I rinse the deep conditioner out of my hair Okay, so now that all of the deep conditioner has been rinsed out of my hair, I like to separate my hair in anywhere between three to four sections to start applying our styling product. So the first styling product that I'm going to be applying is our Pantene Leave-On Moisture Milk. This product smelled amazing and it actually felt really good in my hair. I really liked the consistency of the product. It reminded me of other styling products I would normally use in my hair, as in it wasn't super heavy, didn't feel like it was weighing my hair down, and you guys know those aren't the type of products I normally use in my curls. So I was definitely pleased with this leave-on moisture milk. So I did like how this product felt in my hair, but the one thing I did notice was that I felt like I had to use pretty much the whole bottle to make my hair feel hydrated, moisturized. So that's pretty much what I did. But once I did apply the right amount of product that I felt was necessary for my hair, it felt really nice and it felt super soft. So the next styling product I used was my styling gel. When I tell you this shit smelled toxic. Sick. I didn't really like the scent. It was super strong, but I just started applying this to my hair in sections as well. And I basically used this product to just hold and define my curls even more. Honestly, I feel like this is where I went wrong because even though this gel did not have alcohol in it, I really feel like it dried out my hair. Like my hair felt soft prior to this product when I just had the Pantene leave-on moisture milk in my hair. But you know, I just kept running the product through my hair and made sure my hair was fully coated in the gel. And once I did start to run it through my hair, it didn't feel as dry as it did when I first started, if that makes sense. But let's just say it wasn't my favorite product out of the selection. So anytime that I would normally apply my styling gel to my hair in any wash day, I like to finger coil a couple curls afterwards. This is a great way to just add some definition to the curls that frame your face. If you guys ever see me have super coily finger coils in my hair, whenever my hair is up in a pineapple, this is how it's done. This is what makes that possible. 
so the last thing i'm doing before i apply the oil that we purchased i'm just scrunching my hair which is just another technique i like to do to add volume and definition to my curls and lastly we're going in with that oil i accidentally got it in my mouth and it tasted terrible but this was definitely a lighter oil it wasn't super thick which is actually pretty good if you're looking for a product that's not going to weigh your hair down so to finish this process i just flipped my hair over one last time scrunched up my curls and threw on my microfiber hair towel All right, so since it's out of the shower, first of all, this tank top is so cute. It's one of my favorites, and it's from Urban Outfitters. Look at the back. Like, strappy. It's like not even existing, but I clean my ear and tell me when it feels more clogged than before. Like, so anyways, so I'm out of the shower now, right? And I have a hair towel on my head. So this towel has been sitting on my hair for maybe like 10, 15 minutes, and I'm about to take it off. And let me tell you that I'm scared. Even though my experience in the shower was not bad, I'm a little, you know, just a little nervous. Also, I do still plan on diffusing my hair. I still, I've been doing my regular hair routine, like the same process, just with my Dollar Tree products. So I'm about to take this towel off my head and we're going to see what my curls are looking like. If they still exist. So Shea Moisture, we're gonna need to have a little talk. First of all, my hair smells so good. Tell me why it looks the same as it normally does. Oh, wait, it looks good. I am very impressed. All right, so when I tell you I am impressed, like, okay, Dollar Tree, not me only having to spend $11 on a hair care routine compared to like, what, at least $60? Shea Moisture, um, Miel? Camille, we, we need to have a little chat. So now that my hair is out of the towel, curls are most definitely there, they're defined, and I haven't even started drying my hair with the diffuser, which is what really pulls everything together. But before I get into the drying process, before I pull out this diffuser, we're going to use my edge control. So this is the Softy Perfect Edge Control that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna use like an edge brush that I already had. Just looks like this. You can. It's the fact that I just dropped it on the floor and I was cat hair on it. Um, let's use a different one. So, same thing, but different color. That was embarrassing. So, so I'm going to use some of this edge control, which actually feels really good. It feels really similar to my Style Factor edge control. And we're gonna lay these edges before I dry my hair. So once I dry it, we'll be good to go. Okay. It's not like the thickest product, so the hold is like mediocre. Oh. Um, Okay, edges. I've really been wasting my money. Uh, okay, I usually swoop my little widow's peak up here. And then I'm going to lay my edges on the other side. I'm speechless. I am speechless. So, little, one last look at my hair before I start drying it. Like, definition. Um, okay. Let's pull out the diffuser. I'm going to be using my Diva dryer with the hand attachment. It's not a hand, but it's what it looks like. So actually, I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm gonna plug this in and I am going to dry my hair on warm air, the middle setting, until it's dry. And then I normally finish off with cool, but that's towards like the very, very end. The cool air is a really slow process. So if you have the time, do the cool air. I do, but I don't have the patience. So we're just going to diffuse on warm air and we'll just see how my hair starts to look as it dries. Alright guys, so it's been a good, I would say 30 minutes since I have talked to you guys. My hair is pretty much dry. So all I've done since I last talked to you guys was continue to dry my hair. And I also picked up them scissors and I cut off any dry split looking ends. My hair is definitely not as defined as it normally is in my opinion. I feel like it's a little more fluffy and I don't know, since I didn't use as many styling products and just not what I would normally use, I feel like my hair just looked kind of frizzy. So I cut off the frizz. <laughs> there were probably split ends anyway. Other than that, all I did was lay my edges once again because the edge control wasn't holding too well as I was drying my hair. I don't know if that was too much going on for it to like hold my edges. I did have to lay those again. But now I have my pick and I'm about to pick through my hair. We're gonna pick out my hair and 
you know, just get it as big as we can. So I'm just gonna go in with my pick that I've had. I did not get like a new pick or any like hair tools for this video, only products. And I'm just gonna pick through it to get it as voluminous and as big as I can. Yeah, like this is definitely more dry on the top. Like that's usually a lot more to find, but I don't mind the look. Okay, but Dollar Tree still did that. I could easily like make this my hair care routine. Will I? No, but if it needed to be done, these products did the damn thing. All right, guys, so I'm now in just a slightly different location. Um, I was in my bathroom before, but now I'm sitting here in my room, and the goal here was to show you guys what my hair looks like in natural light, but then I forgot um, summer's over, and the sun is starting to set a lot earlier. Right now, it's 5.30, so the sun wouldn't necessarily be setting, but it is getting a little darker, and then it was already gloomy all day, so moral of the story, there's no sunlight. Um, It's just dark, so I'm using my ring light, but this is what my hair turned out looking like and when I tell you I am thoroughly impressed like girl Dollar Tree like I honestly had no idea what to expect getting myself into this but I'm just letting y'all know now I think this proves that Dollar Tree got it like that my curls look super similar to what they normally look like there's really no difference other than a little less definition but I'm sure if I just added a little more product my hair would look exactly how it normally does I am very pleased like I would go out like this this is cute all right guys with the hair care routine done that is going to be the end of today's video I'm currently sitting here I have my house set at maybe like 62 degrees and I just turned off the AC because it was freezing. My toes are freezing and I have this blanket over me right now. I am very pleased with how my hair turned out. If you're looking for some hair products that are inexpensive and are going to get the job done and do a damn good job at it, literally every product that I used felt really good in my hair. The Pantene leave-in conditioner, it felt good. It didn't feel as like hydrating and conditioning as I had wanted it to, but it still got the job done. And then the styling gel, it didn't have alcohol in it so that's good I still felt like it dried out my hair a little bit I didn't feel the best in my hair but other than that everything else felt really good the shampoo kind of dried out my hair but that's the majority of shampoos the conditioner felt amazing and it had such good slip it was a thinner conditioner and it actually worked really well the deep conditioner was bomb and then the leave-in the gel the edge control it was pretty good it just laid it's not my favorite as you can see like they're already starting to lift a little bit but it's still it still got the job done but other than that my hair literally looks exactly how it normally does this is what the back looks like on both sides but yeah guys that is going to be it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i'm in love with how my hair turned out and if any of you guys end up purchasing these products at your local dollar tree you guys end up you know adding some of these into your routine definitely let me know because i want to see it because i'm very impressed with the results and i definitely think it's worth a try if you're not trying to spend a shit ton of money on hair products so with all of that being said i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet please make sure to do so also if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.